Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another Tips for Bob 420 beverage review. Okay, we're doing Mr. Brown's uh, Blue Mountain Ice Coffee. And um, this is um, a product of Thailand that uh, a North American company picked up and distributed. Um, I have had a canned um, coffee from Thailand before, but not a Mr. Brown. Um, and all these little Thai uh, coffee things, I don't find them often, or else I'd be trying more of them out. But I come across them randomly in the grocery store, 99 cents. For sure, I'll try it. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of different flavors with Mr. Brown. Um, I looked up it online. Um, it comes from uh, the King Car uh, Incorporated Company out in Thailand. You can check them out at kingcar.com.tw. You may occasionally find tiny milk flakes appearing. Quality is no problem. So this Mr. Brown is the Blue Mountain Blend. Um, apparently these coffees are amazing, from what people are saying. And the thing is, at one point there was a milk scare going on in a... Asia over there. So these Mr. Brown drinks apparently been around since like 1982, supposedly. And then apparently in 2008, uh, for the Canadian and United States market, they had to uh, stop selling some of their products for a while. I believe they were saying it was their three in one instant coffees or something. Just because, uh, like I said, there was the milk scare. So some of those products had like malamine in it or something like that. And to get them back on the market, they switched it up with milk from New Zealand. But apparently it never affected their canned coffees. So this guy got imported um, from from a company out in Markham, Ontario. Uh, it's 240 milliliter ready to drink. There's no ice in here, but they write iced coffee. 100 calories, 2 grams of fat, um, 5 milligrams of cholesterol. 85 milligrams of sodium, 19 grams of carbohydrates, 17 grams of sugar, 2% vitamin A, 6% calcium. You get water, coffee extract, sugar, milk powder, emulsifier, which in brackets is E322. And that's it. Some English, some French, some Asian, some Mr. Brown Mountain. Small enough for like a mustard glass, and we'll use that. Cha ching! <coughs> hey folks, how's your day and week going in here? Yeah, how's, how's everyone's 2013 going? I remember when it first started for me, there were some moments that were like boring and like lonely and stuff. F all that. <laughs> Smells like your typical creamy coffee. Oh, by the way, one thing I found online, someone was saying that these are really strong and like having a few coffees or something. Really? Are these supposed to be extremely potent? I don't know. But you got your typical um, creamy coffee, like mocha-y smell, with this intensely super, like it doesn't smell dead on to just a creamy coffee beverage, because it's got that, plus it's got an extreme, like the coffee smell to it. It's so hardcore, if you don't like a super strong coffee smell, you won't like this. If you want a mild, light one, smell-wise, no, I don't know, taste buds. see. So, we knew what to expect and what like, you know, oh, how's it going to work? Right? So that's that. <coughs> Not so much, more of a creamy mocha you drink in the can with that hardcore coffee smell, but uh, from the glass here, just a hardcore coffee smell. All right, folks. Cheers. Background would be a bit of the creamy, uh, mocha-y like uh, creamy taste of that concept. But up front, lots of coffee taste. So anything to do crema, 
Crema. Crema. What the f is Crema? <laughs> Sorry. Anything to do with cream and mocha? Like anything in here that reminds you of like either creamy brown looking drinks like this? It's all in the background. Up front, whatever. Uh, new Mountain Blend Mr. Brown Coffee stuff is because you know. Oh, you know, I don't live in Thailand, so what the heck do I know about like the Thailand coffees and stuff, right? But whatever they do with their coffee, they make sure it's really, really tasting coffee there. And if it's that strong in coffee, maybe it is a really strong, potent wake you up blend, but I don't know. And this is good, but I don't know why people are raving and raving and saying it was amazing. Maybe their other products are good, better, who knows. This is still good, don't get me wrong, but I would definitely want like other creamy coffee drinks from other companies instead, because there is some I know that are extremely potent because the double co double caffeinated coffee beans. Not every company likes to use those. And some of those ones will have like amazing flavor, never watered down and stuff. So I'll admit for me, there is some other coffee beverages I can't easily get my hands on them, so it's been a long time and I don't know if I'll ever get them again in life. But I remember them being extremely potent and really flavorful. I actually want to like shake it off them and stuff. But um because like shot coffee, for example, they're cold drinks. And then you know how like the Starbucks ones are kind of watered down and stuff. But um this if you don't want a lot of creamy taste, and you want a lot of coffee taste, they'll do it. Hey, it's 99 cents, so win-win all around. Mr. Brown, Blue Mountain, Blue Nice Coffee.